What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be talking about this Beast. It's a BE 5000 watt pressure washer, model number B205EG. Let's get into it. All the power of a 200cc gas pressure washer, and all you have to do is plug it into the wall and flip a switch. So who would want something like this? Well, if you don't need the portability of a gas pressure washer, you might consider swapping those gas cans and carburetor kits for an extension cord and longer hose. To use a unit like this, all you need is a 30 amp, 230 volt outlet. So if you're equipped to charge an EV or already have at least a 30 amp service connect for something like a welder or clothes dryer, you can power one of these. It comes with an upright style cart, steel construction, and a powder coated finish. It has holes pre-drilled for mounting a reel, spaced three and a quarter inch on center, and sized for three eighths of an inch hardware. That will work for a standard hose reel, but if you want to run something like a Cox reel, you'll need to figure out how you want to adapt it. The pump is powered by a Baldor industrial motor. Baldor Electric Company has been making motors for almost a hundred years and is one of the biggest names in the industry. This is a five horsepower motor rated at 22 amps and sucks down a meter spinning 5,000 watts of juice. The unit is GFCI protected and equipped with a basic motor disconnect switch. It doesn't get much simpler than that and it's made right here in the USA. Attached to the motor is a general pump model 2035. That stands for 2000 PSI and a flow rate of 3.5 GPM. Made in Italy, the pump is of the triplex variety and features an external unloader, thermal release valve, and a crooked sticker. Fun fact, general pumps are completely serviceable, rebuildable, and the manufacturer even has a YouTube channel dedicated to showing you how to work on them. But if that's not your thing, no worries because these commercial quality pumps typically have a local industry in your area with technicians that can repair or replace components for you. The hose that comes with the machine is 50 feet long and 3 eighths of an inch in diameter to handle that 3.5 gallon per minute flow rate. The hose is labeled as a Semper Jet Eco 4000 and is a one wire rubber hose with a textured finish. A basic hose that's not going to win any beauty contests, but on the bright side, it's definitely better than whatever came on your father-in-law's Ryobi. The brochure claimed the unit came with a 15-inch cord whip, but it showed up with an extended cord instead. I thought perhaps it was a simple typo, but nope, the cord measures out to 25 feet long. That would have been nice to know before I ordered an extension cord in preparation for its arrival, but I digress. On the bright side, it's a high quality 12 gauge cord with a rubber sheath and it's made in the USA. The plug is a NEMA L6-30 and this is how it comes from the factory with this homemade looking plug end. Which is actually a benefit because I can install my own plug on it guilt free. But for now, this adapter I got on Amazon will be sufficient. That leaves the gun and the lance which I would probably describe as generic but serviceable. 36 inches long made in China with zinc coated hardware. It comes with a typical complement of nozzles with an orifice size of 4.5 and includes a soap dispensing nozzle, which is odd given the unit doesn't come with a pickup for soap. Never matter, that nozzle is going right into the trash where it belongs anyway. With that said, this setup will get the job done for now. On to performance. If you're attracted to a unit like this, you already get it. Flow is king and this machine delivers volume. The orifice size included with the machine is perhaps a bit undersized. Loaded with a 4.5 orifice, with the unloader cranked to 11, I measured a back pressure close to 2500 PSI at 3.2 gallons per minute, pulling 23 amps from the mains. In this configuration, the motor and pump are slightly overdriven. Switching to a number 5 orifice delivered about 2000 PSI and 3.4 gallons per minute, while pulling 21 amps from the mains. Equipped with a 4.5 orifice, this machine is quite capable of chewing through tree roots and stripping concrete. Stepping that orifice size up to a number 5 or a 5.5 will ensure maximum flow rates at a lower pressure for activities such as washing cars or jetting pipes. Whatever you choose, just keep in mind that when you use the unloader valve to reduce pressure, you are doing so by diverting a portion of that precious volume. 
As for the competition, well, there are not many options in this segment of the market. The 5 horsepower North Star unit by Northern Tool is probably the most popular, but that unit values pressure over volume, has a wheelbarrow style stand, and nowhere to mount a reel. The North Star unit comes with a mystery motor and a CAT 4DNX pump with an integrated unloader and soap pickup. Cute. One major design difference is the North Star unit has auto start stop, but they are also having problems letting the smoke out of the motors according to the reviews. Now I'm not an engineer, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night and I think it might have something to do with the inrush currents created during the constant start-stop cycles. Consider that a cautionary tale if you decide to add that feature to your own motor. The BE pressure washer is the KISS principle executed. And with the grunt of a Baldor industrial motor and the flare of an Italian general pump, it gets style points. What attracted me to this pressure washer was the intentional simplicity and quality of components. The purchasing experience, on the other hand, could have been better. Units like this are primarily marketed in the commercial space, which apparently means they aren't marketed at all. Navigating through the various BE models was confusing, and every model number appeared to have a different complement of accessories. Figuring out what accessories were included was a chore, and despite my best efforts, I was still surprised by the 25-foot cord when it arrived. BE offers a variety of three-phase and single-phase electric pressure washers, culminating at 7.5 horsepower. So if you do decide to purchase a BE pressure washer, be sure to double-check the model number and the specs to make sure you're getting the right machine. And shop around, because the prices for these machines vary greatly from one distributor to another. I paid about $13.50 for mine from an online retailer, and the machine was delivered via freight about a week later. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope this video helped you out. My intention was to show you what this machine can do and demonstrate that a 230 volt electric pressure washer can do the work of a gas machine. Electric pressure washers get a bad rap, but when you squeeze the trigger on the BE, it doesn't dribble dribble. It blows. With that being said, I'm not here to judge. If dribble dribble is your thing and you still have 1500 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, you can always buy a Kranzel.